Hi, my name is Kitty. I'm going to start my vlog. I want to kind of have a running diary, maybe. Maybe just something so other people with MS, which I have MS. I'm not starting this very long. Hi, I'm Kitty. I have MS. Um, I don't know how the sound quality is. For some reason, it's sounding like I'm underwater half the time. Maybe as to how it really sounds. Who knows? Um, I just wanted to start vlogging and kind of go day by day and see how someone with MS is, you know, doing. I'm the type of person that covers up. I'm the type of person who always puts the front and makes everything seem okay. When inside, I'm not. I'm not okay. But I don't feel that bringing everyone else down is going to do anyone any good. I try to be happy. I try to stay positive. But it's not always easy to do. Um, I have a wonderful husband and great son who are supportive and help me out. I don't know what I would do without them. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Today is Friday, which I'm always happy when it's Friday. I don't have to get up at 5.30, which is, hey. Um, I don't really have to get up at 5.30. I just get up with my husband every morning. So I can spend time with him before he goes to work. Um, so on the weekends it's nice to sleep until about 7.30. And I know some of you are going 7.30 sleeping in. Wow, that's what time I get up during the week. Um, I'm retired. I'm retired because of a back injury actually, not because of my neck. Um, I've had one fusion in my neck. If you probably still can see the scar. It's been over a year, but scars, they don't like to just go away. So it's not too bad. It's something I can tolerate. I mean, shoot, I wish that was the only imperfection on me. It's not. I've gained quite a bit of weight since having my back injury and MS. So, I mean, this is my all-time worst I've ever been. Plus, of course, of all times, eh, cold sore. So, yeah. Yay, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Woo, I used to be pretty good looking, now not so much. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Right, right? Yeah, inside. That's what they keep telling me anyway. Anyway, I'm in an expa exasperation right now. It's been going on for well over a month, probably coming close to two months. Um, both legs, my left arm, are affected right now. That's not including my lower back and right leg. That's affected. So pretty much all my limbs are affected. Um, I don't have the MS hug so much, and that's basically the tightness in the chest. feels like someone's hugging you real tight. I don't have that so much. Thank goodness for that. Oh, I have had it before. No fun. No fun. Um, it basically feels like when you have a really bad leg cramp or foot cramp okay now imagine that cramp doesn't ever go away that's how I've been for almost two months now Yay. <laughs> woohoo so much fun um yeah, great um I can deal with it I do have pain medication I don't like being on medication at all but it's one of those necessary evils that I'm either going to be on it or I'm going to be in more pain. So I choose to be on it. And I can function and that's the whole idea of the pain medication is to make your daily life a little bit easier to function. Um, I go see a new neurologist next month which I'm really happy about. Um, I will probably be put on some different medications because the ones I'm on aren't helping right now. So, I'm looking forward to that. Not more medications, but just being able to maybe try something new. Maybe be a little bit easier to live my life. 
I'm 42 years old, very young still. I have quite a few things I still want to do in life. So, I want to do whatever I can so I can live my life. I find, what I find hardest right now, honestly, is dealing with people and my weight. It's not so much, even being in a wheelchair, it's not a big deal. But I constantly get these little remarks behind my back. Like, I can't hear you? Come on, I can hear you. All those remarks you make to people that are overweight, they hear you. And it hurts. You know? Just because you're so insecure with yourself doesn't mean you can put others down and make yourself feel better. Okay? It's not cool. And it hurts. And if that's what you're going for, well, great for you. But it does hurt people. Trust me. I used to be thin. I used to be in great shape. I was in the army. I did, I mean, I was really, really good shape. So it hurts and it's hard to deal with the fact that I'm at this weight and I'm having a hard time dealing with it. I have tried diets. But my problem is I just can't get out there and do enough exercise. I do what I can, it's just not enough. I don't sit here and eat all day. I, I don't have a lot of sweets. But I still gain the weight. Everyone says, oh you eat like a bird, you eat like a bird. And it's true, I don't eat that much. But because I'm not very active. So I don't want to eat that much. I'm not going to, you know, work it off. But then there's the depression that sits in too. Another thing with MS, people have depression. I have it pretty bad. And unfortunately, that gets me to the point where I don't even want to leave the house. So if I don't leave the house, I have nothing. I have no exercise. I don't know. It's hard. But I will get through it. I will get through it. So, I will try to do a vlog once a week. Maybe more. Depends. Depends on if I get any response or not from this. If you have nasty remarks to say, please keep it to yourself. It's nothing I haven't heard before. Trust me. But don't make yourself feel better just to put me down or others down. It's not it's not worth it. And karma, it will come back to you. So just remember that. Remember, karma does happen. So you all, thank you for watching. I hope throughout my vlogs that maybe I can help one person or more. One would be great. Anyone? I uh, I try to stay positive, as I said. I want to be there for someone. I want to, you know, if any questions, any questions at all, I will answer those questions within reason and with the guidelines of YouTube. So I just I feel that I need to share my story, and um, I have a story. I have a long story. I've suffered a lot in my life, but you know what? It's a good life. I'm doing good. I've got good people around me right now, so it's a good life. So, with that, everyone, have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Please be safe. Whatever you guys do, be safe. Hang in there. It gets better. It will always get better. Hang in there. And until later, alrighty, bye-bye, tschüss.